You should give up because <laughs> you're not fit to be with anybody. Ladies, you guys can no, find love. shut that shit up. <laughs> you're not fit to be with anybody. You're zip damn crazy. It is your boys, George and Roddy Bo, back at it again with another video. And if this is your first time watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your left hand side of your screen so that you're able to get a notification for the next time we drop a video. So today we're going to keep that train rolling. We're going to do another video over Kevin Samuels. Yes, sir. It's going to get very interesting. So stay tuned for the whole video. Let's get right to it. I'll be nice to you. You'll be nice to me. That's all I. I just, you want to go by Lewis? Okay. How are you? Lewis. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. That's, 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 that's yeah, you're coming into a place. Let's, uh, <laughs> what do you have for me, Lewis? Well, I had I have a question and then I wanted to make a statement. My question is, why are you giving women, why are you shaming women who... <clears throat> Lewis, what you're not going to do is what you just attempted to do. I said it a bit first and I'll say it again. I'll be nice to you if you're nice to me. But uh, if all you can use is shaming language and these kind of things, I'll bid you a good night. <laughs> Did you turn her off or something? You muted her, bro. Oh. You either have a conversation like a reasonable adult or you go elsewhere. Now, you can unmute yourself and attempt to do this one more again. You, I do not accept, yeah, I do not accept you coming in here saying, shaming this. No, ma'am. Nope. No, ma'am. So what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to be respectful of what, look, man, I'm having to raise my voice. I have pleasant conversations with everybody else. And because you may be what in your feelings a little upset, I'm not shaming anything. There are 5,000 people who watched it. So what, what is your issue? Well, thank you. Well, it, make you, it makes me feel like that it's making women feel shameful that they had kids by a man and that wasn't their plan for life. Like that's not their life. Excuse me. Telling, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So, see, hold on. This is a, um, how old are you? I'm 30. No child gets born that a woman did not want to bring to this world. Mm hmm. So, so to say that I'm making them feel shameful for a choice they made, no. You choose to be a parent that has consequences. I don't think choosing to be a a parent is a negative thing and I never said it was a negative thing I just said it has consequences I think with everything in life has consequences but choosing to be a parent ha okay but see what you came on here trying to do is you telling women to having a child that they didn't plan or this the, the life didn't work it's shameful ma'am Life is about no. You choice. didn't let me finish. Well, you didn't let me finish. Well, because I was first, uh, you're not you're not going to talk over me. When you come in here telling me that it's shameful what I'm doing, you can say what you have to say. You have 20 seconds, but be respectful. I'm not saying that what you're saying is shameful. I'm saying it will make a woman feel shameful that you're saying that because they have a kid, there's no. Can I say something? I don't understand why he doesn't get that. I, I, she's pretty clear. Like she's saying, she's saying what is she the saying? way the way that he's speaking to women. You got to think out of men and women. It's not. A, I'm not trying to generalize women, but I do believe um, that women may are more sensitive than men. So yes. you got to take that into account when you're talking to women. And maybe you can't you can't call them fat. You can't call them. You feel me? You a loser? You can't do that. There has to be a different approach. And if you're saying. Um, once you hit your thirties or you thirty five or whatever, is you feel me? You you had a time to get married. That does kind of. And if you say they have a lower value once they have children, that is in a way shaming them. They yeah. can feel shameful about that. It's not. I take it as I take it as him just being the truth. It's being truthful and telling what the reality is. I but I understand that. But it's important to know your audience. If you feel like the woman can handle it, okay. 
If you can't, then I understand they're coming you know out. Your of, audience, you should know what you're getting yourself into. I if you're calling, me, let me finish. Go I ahead, understand go ahead. they are coming in there out of free choice. He does not have an obligation to appease to their feelings, but it would be nice if he did. No, that doesn't make any sense. Why is he going to change up his approach? You if, can still be if, blunt without being rude about it. You feel he me? He is being rude. If, if you Why? call a female, if, if they, if you call her fat, you feel me. He, he, he didn't, we're talking about this one. I'm not talking okay. about. I'm just saying. Over the of course, we've seen several videos here. We've seen how yes. he's talked to women. Yes. So don't act oblivious. Yes, he hasn't said fat. He says or oh, he said overweight. Come on, bro. He said overweight. That's the same thing, bro. He said if I height and the weight adjusted, you would be the size of an offensive lineman. Yes. That's come on. That's the truth. I under, Jordan, do you not understand? I understand it is the truth. I'm just saying. I'm playing devil's advocate here. You don't have to. We we you why you ain't got a roofer, bro. Like we understand. I understand. I'm just presenting another alternative idea and perspective. Yeah. It can be perceived as shameful if you're saying that women are of lower value after they have children. But it's the truth of how men see it. So there is no shame in telling a woman the truth about about how a man sees her that she's trying to seek after. So if I'm if I'm coming to if you have if you have this type of uh, platform and you have women come to you for advice, why am I going to try to beat her on the bush? Well, I'm just going to give you the honest answer that's going to put you in the best position to be able to be successful in the relationship uh, environment. You feel me? So if I feel you, bro. bro, so if you don't feel me, everyone out there that's watching Kev videos, everyone out there is watching our videos, that sees what I'm saying. All I'm if you're coming to Kev's platform, you know how he talks, you know how he rolls, you know how he's gonna approach I didn't you. Deny, I didn't deny that. If you listen to me, can I, I said, can, can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? I didn't finish yet. Let me say something real quick. I've been letting you finish. But listen, can I finish? Bro. Listen, bro. Listen. We got to put a mute button on YouTube, bro, because you're not letting me finish. Nah, but listen, I'm not. All I'm saying is this. Give me two seconds. I did not deny. He's not telling the truth. I never said you denied it. Okay, so what do you, you what do you keep bringing up that point if that's not even my point I'm making? I never, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just making my own statement. Oh, okay, then there it goes. If you're not disagreeing, then what's the problem? I'm just making. Can I not talk? Go ahead, then, bro. I'm thinking you saying he's I not. I can have my piece. What I'm saying, I'm thinking you saying he and uh, the way he's presenting it, it could sometimes make women feel shameful. That's it. It can make them feel shameful. Or, okay, okay. It can make them feel shameful, and it can make them feel in a way that I need to get myself together. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying he is. But I don't think. So are you are saying, saying his approach is bad? Are you saying his approach? I'm not saying his approach is bad. He can approach these women any way he wants to. It's his show. What I'm saying to you is this: the consequences are the the results of how he speaks to women, and we know they are. They tend to be a little bit more sensitive. He could be cognizant of that at times. I'm not saying he has to dilute the way he approaches women and talks to them. All I'm saying is be mindful of that at times. I have to disagree. Because I think him being straightforward with these women has brought, uh, I, I could say, put a light bulb, turn on the light bulb in their head to realize what they're doing isn't working. Because if they're calling on here, nine times out of ten, they are in a relationship. They aren't where they want to be in their life. You feel me? So if they're calling on here and they want advice. So him being straightforward and blunt as he is works. Because whoever has been being soft with them hasn't been as straightforward with them hasn't been working because they wouldn't be calling him for advice um, she's not calling him for advice and we only the, another thing we only seeing what he shows us too we don't see how these women is feeling we don't know how these women is feeling after a lot of these feeling, huh? Huh? what you mean how they feeling after we don't know if they're feeling sh ashamed I mean, you said a lot of these women being straightforward it hasn't been working all i'm saying is you have to be open. You can't just have... You can have one way. It's your show. I understand that. All I'm saying is this. The women that we don't, we don't know how they're feeling after, they can say they're not insensitive. They can say they can take this shit to the chin. We don't know what's happening once that video stops. That's on them if they want to hop on Kev's show, though. I'm not denying that. All I'm saying is... I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Open perspective. I understand what you're saying, but that's, that's on I'm them saying. if they hop on Kev's... If they hop on the show. Future in that for them, they, they can't find it. They're not going to be able to be married or get a husband that's, or anything oh that's like not that. what i said but i mean but, but let, me make, let me let me make it real clear we do need to bring shame back because oh, you yes. ladies well because here's the thing i that talk about a, 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 cal, a certain caliber of man and these men don't want children from another another man ma'am do you not think okay do you have any children 
Yes, I do. You have a son? Uh-huh. Okay. You so your son makes something of himself. He becomes an attorney. A well-regarded attorney, 35 years old. You want him you think that he should bring home a woman with three kids by two different dudes? I think he should bring home a woman. No, 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 no. See, you didn't answer. No, 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 no. Yes, I think. No, no, see, no, 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 no. I didn't get a question out of my mouth before you decide. See, you know what? I'll let you go ahead. You think he should do what? I think he should bring home whoever he please, whoever he's happy with. Right. Just because a woman doesn't have a kid doesn't mean that you. You don't understand that? No, I get that, but. Let's 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 keep it real, bro. If if you are in a position, let's say you have a you have a a daughter, right? Yeah. Or you don't have a daughter, you have a son. Yeah. Your son, very successful man, uh, doing well for himself, making six figures. Nine times out of ten, if he talks about marrying someone or brings home someone with three Two kids, two, three kids. You're gonna say two, one to two. Okay, two. let's say let's say two to three, two to three. Because right. one is the one is like, all right, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But two to three kids, you're gonna be more on. You're gonna your awareness is gonna heighten, and you're gonna be ah, uh, I don't know about this. Any, that's just any parent. If anybody denies that, that's I I just don't agree with that. Like, she there's, denying that. That's just no way. But there's gonna be some of type of little hesitation type of resistance if your son your daughter brings home someone that has two or three plus kids with somebody else and they're a high value status so he's talking about he's talking about people that are of a high value status that means they're making like six figures and up you feel me so those type of people nine times out of ten they are not looking for someone to be with that has two or three kids with all I, that can be true. All I'm saying is he's saying that. She's saying that. I'm playing devil's advocate here. Go ahead. You can't help who you love. Love is a, is a, is a strange thing. So if you, fa- if you fall in love with a person that does have that, there should be no shame with it. You shouldn't feel ashamed. You shouldn't feel, you feel me? That's all she's saying. Oh, no, so no, no. So both no. of them can be right. Of course, yeah. you, every, I'm pretty sure anyone would rather have children uh, with the person that they marry. You feel me? You want to start your own family. But all she's saying and she's bringing the point to to him is that you can fall in love with some somebody who got seven kids, but if the longest love is strong enough, y'all gonna rock. You feel me? What are the odds of that happening? I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that. I know, I'm I'm you said, honestly, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, asking. I'm it, it's not likely. It's not likely. I use seven kids. You don't think no, there's people? No, not seven. You think who, there, are, there are people who fall in love with people no, who have kids? No, there, there is. But I'm just talking about what are the odds of that happening? I'm not sure what the odds are. It may be low. But I'm saying you have to make it a point to acknowledge that that is can it can happen. That's no, no, I'm no, saying. it can. Of course, it can. Okay. He's not saying it's impossible, but the odds of that happening is very, very low. That's it. That's it. You're going to be happy with her, ma'am. Where's your husband? I've turned down two proposals because uh, okay. oh my okay. god, how many children I don't even do you have? There. How many children do you have? I have one child. Okay. Why are you so upset that I'm telling the reality that men want? Men don't want women who have children by other men, especially productive, competitive, excuse me, especially productive, competitive, successful men. Higher value men choose overwhelmingly to start their own families. See, what you have a problem with, ma'am, is men finally saying what men have always thought. If you don't want the downsides or consequences that come along with being a single mother, get married before you have a baby. I appreciate the truth and the honesty. Um, then what's the problem? Then what's the problem? But what's the problem with saying? I just don't get, feel like what's that the, that's, oh, feelings, man. What's the problem? With tell, I, you cannot over talk me. You cannot has, over. You cannot over talk. <laughs> you cannot do that. Oh, he will mute man. you. Calm down and and just respond. You can unmute yourself, but you can't over talk me. See, 
This is another reason dealing with women with children. You get overly emotional because your children are important to you, but they're on, but they're important to you, not us. You can unmute yourself. <laughs> wow, that is not true. You, uh, you're you can uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, no, no. Your children are important to you. They're not important to us. It's like my child is important to me. High value man. Excuse me, ma'am. Your child is important to you. It's not important to us. And here's the here's the here's the real question. Who is us? uh, uh, Who is us? Other other men out here, the the public. Not not the men. Excuse me, man. No, this ain't about me, ma'am. Why didn't you? Why are you and your? Why didn't you marry the man you chose to have a child with? He wasn't good enough for me. Well, then that's your, okay. So what I need you to understand on the open dating market, you come into the open dating market with a baby from a man you say wasn't good enough for you to us, to men like myself, to men with good sense. That would say she is a poor judge of character because she gave a man the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet, a child. And then she gave a man who wasn't good enough for her a baby. Sorry, ma'am. Don't get upset because I agree with that. But if you agree with it, then understand. I agree. There's a reason. But I also want to say that I'm allowed to make poor judgments in my life because. Oh yeah, you. Oh yeah, you are. But you. You are. Stop. Yeah, you are. But we don't have. (laughs) But understand some. Listen. 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 Listen, you are, but the world does not owe you understanding. You're allowed to make, you're allowed to make they poor don't, judgment. But, but guess, guess what? what? We are the going to judge. does it too. Ma'am. We all do it. If you don't sit your emotional broke. self down, lady, I'm sorry. The, the world is not it's going to continue. Broke. The world ain't going to continue. to. First of all, your child is your least of your problems. <laughs> and this is the kind of book. That goes on too often with women. <laughs> Think you know, because you can get your ass up here and be emotional and talk loud. It's going to overcome the fact that you made a baby with a dude that you say ain't good enough. That's your problem. The world does not owe you understanding. And you sound like you need a whole lot of damn therapy because you're far too angry about what you chose to do. You can't make this shit up, people. <laughs> okay. That's how I am. It's not coming from a bad place oh, or anything. Wow. But my frustration and my frustration comes from not because of my dating life, because I don't date. I've given up on the people in today's world. It's not just the men, it's just the people of today's world. They're so tainted. They're so nasty and they're just so, it's just a different world from what I'm old school. I grew up around women who date high quality men. Um, so I'm frustrated for the women out there. They are still out there trying to date and find love and have kids. Life isn't one sided. And I want them to know that there is. Let, like me, explain, let me ask you a call, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said something I want to ask about. You said you're old school and you grew up around women who dated high quality men. They currently are dating. Okay. But where are the husbands? Yeah. They're, they're married, actually. Okay. They're married. I'm but sorry. Ma- ma- They're okay. married. All right. I'm gonna say this. Okay. I'm gonna say this too, though. Okay. I know we're talking about. He's talking about the single mothers. It's a, it's a lower value, but uh, at the same time, some of these single mothers, we have to make it a point to make it realize some of these single mothers, their baby fathers are high value men. You telling me every single woman that has um, a child out of wedlock father is potentially not a high value man? No, I'm not saying that. That's all I'm saying. So he's not he, saying that. He's not saying that. I'm not saying he's. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. he's saying that. But I've never heard him acknowledge that these women are single mothers. However, some some of these women may be single mothers, or their fathers, single fathers may be high value men. Yeah, but the odds. What would you say the odds are? I'm not. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. On the I'm, odds, I'm just. The odds, I'm just, the odds. I'm just, I'm just, just asking. I understand. Answer you don't, your question. You don't have to be so defensive. I'm going to answer your question. You sound like him. You got to be able to critically think for yourself. I am. This is what I'm saying. It's probably maybe middle to low. It's I okay. understand that. Okay. But you don't have to bring in the odds every time. Why? Like, Why can't we get realistic and be and come to reality? I understand. It's about being realistic and coming to the reality, bro. I understand that. All I'm saying is that this, 
You don't have to bring it up every time. What are ah? What are eyes? Is you because we have to keep it? We have to keep it real with. Kevin we gotta Samuels keep it real with the people. We I have to keep it real with you. You Kevin Samuels two point. I have to keep it real with you. I have to. You you can. I'm but God damn, with brother. But all I'm saying is, boom. That's what I'm saying though. Some of these women may have baby fathers with high value men. He ain't never asked. I ain't never seen him ask. How much does your husband make? What does your husband do? He has. I mean, asked I seen, what does your baby father do? He has asked that before. I ain't heard it. He's asked that before, but I, I, I'm just making the clear. I'm just making an observation that I haven't seen it yet. But he has asked that before, and he needs to ask that more often. And what and what he's saying is very true. That you're saying you're giving you gave the greatest honor that you can that's give true. to a man, and you're saying he wasn't good enough. That's true. That's a valid point. That's 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 contradicting yourself, women. You feel me? You, you can't you don't you can't say it. You can just say I was young. I was. And, and it's not even all on the women too. It's on the man too, because it. You know what I mean. It, it goes both ways. They both know the responsibility that goes into having sex. They both know the outcome that could come with having unprotected sex. So it's not only just on the women. It's on the man as well out there. So I know he's talking about a lot of single women right now, but it does go both ways as well. Now nah, you want to come to my side, huh, brother? I'm keeping it real. I've been keeping it real the nah, whole time. Nah, nah. We ain't, we ain't, we, we got to play back that. No. You ain't say nothing like that until just I made that bro, point, bro. I've been keeping it real for the Get whole time. Get out of my time. face, bro. This is this video, bro. This man. Are, are you actually saying you've given up because what? There are no men I, out here I've that are worth a damn? No, and that's, I want to say, can I say this? I didn't say that my child's father wasn't shit. We were young. So my, my issue was. He said he wasn't so, good enough. He wasn't good enough for me to marry. I was a young girl. That's what I'm saying. But you need to slow down. You need to slow down. When because you say you're a man, not, no, no ma'am. I let you speak. When you say a man's not. Well, no, no. See, I'm not going to let you get that off. You say he wasn't good yeah, enough. Then you shouldn't have had the baby. I understand that I was. So he wasn't good enough. That's true. To marry, but he was good enough to bring someone into this world with. Where's Wait. the Where's the logic in that, bro? There, uh, you, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. You can't you, in the, in the moment she probably couldn't think in the future, or in the moment she probably didn't see. But bringing a life, lines, or bringing, a, bringing a life into this world is way more valuable than than marriage. You feel me? Yeah, you can, you you can, you can, you can, uh you can still be with the person never get married but yet have a beautiful family you live a beautiful life mm -hmm. be happy cuz i know i have a friend that literally bro i'm telling you i have a friend that's literally been with her significant other since they've been in high school and she's 26 now bro you feel me and they're both happy but they just don't want to go through the whole marriage process like he's literally gotten her a ring everything they just don't want to get married under the it's just they don't want to make it legal it's yeah they don't want to get, you know make it legal but you can I, I it's very possible to still be happy without getting married or making it legal in uh better terms you feel me i don't know what's that point was all i'm gonna say is this though i agree with that point because i think the, no because she because we were talking about you said the greatest honor a woman could ever give is i'm saying a yeah. child and, and then she said he wasn't good enough to marry, but he was good enough to bring a child in the world. Oh, and I'm saying, and I'm saying, and I'm saying, bringing a point. child in the world is way more valuable than marriage. That's my whole point. Yeah, but a lot of people change once you get that child involved too. So you gotta. Um, they may look good when it's you feel me all smooth and dandy. Once that child gets in the way, you feel me a lot of. You feel me? And, and, and my heart hey. goes out to the brothers out there that the, the women. I, got, I know a couple of cats, man. That's trapped. That that they they got trapped. Not only they got trapped, once they got in a relationship and they had the girl had the baby, she don't want to get touched no more. You feel me? Cause them after the baby? Yeah, it, that happens. Some women, they uh what is it? What is it? The 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 uh post 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 uh it's not is it hormones? What is it? The hormones, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. hormones, the hormones level go down. Estrogen. It, it, yeah, it's either go down or it goes up for some women. So a couple of cats I know. They uh, they female estrogen going down. It went down, bro. They didn't want to be touched. That's a hard price to pay. Can we get a moment of silence for them? Yeah, that's a hard place to Let's be get in, a moment bro. of silence for them, bro. That's a hard place to be in. You know what I mean? My heart goes out to you. You feel me? But hey, you live and you learn, baby. Let's get back to it. Young, that was a that was okay. But you're experience. still saying okay. That's but an experience. Here's a, uh, first, okay, you're not gonna talk over me. I said it again. Your child is how old? My child is thirteen. And you're still this angry? 
I'm not angry. Oh yes, Why? you are. My tone, my tone yeah. makes oh, you okay. think I'm, I'm far from ma'am, angry. Ma'am, you're, 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 oh, ma'am. What I'm angry about? No, no, ma'am. Sir? You need to check, check it. No, sir, ma'am. Can I tell you? No, no. I'm you angry? can, you can. Sh- no, no. Because you just said you were not angry, and now you're telling me you're angry, ma'am. I need to ask you one I'm angry question. I need you to, I no, want no, to know no, no, no. You're not going to do this shit. I, I don't see I, what you should give up because <laughs> you're not fit to be with anybody. Ladies, you guys can no, find love. Shut that shit up. <laughs> you're not fit to be with anybody. You're zip damn crazy. <laughs> and see, this is what I get tired of. You baby mamas like this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> These damn. <laughs> thinking you're going to come and spew your poison on everybody else because your broken ass. Take your ass to therapy because you are angry as a mother sucker. <laughs> you can't enter no better way than that, kid. Oh, shit, bro. You can't enter no better way than that, bro. Come on now. He he the call? Huh? He in the call? Yeah, he in the call. I think he should have let her. I, they should have kept going, honestly, bro. Honestly, that was foolishness. At that point, he needed to help out some other clients. I feel you, bro. Come on now. That was a good video, though, for the most part. You feel me? I ain't mad at that. She she came in and said her piece. You feel me? She tried to get it in, and then she got it out of that job. So it's a solid, smooth piece. Yeah, she got. She, she I can see what. Could you see what he was saying? The emotional part of the aspect. You feel me? The approach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for uh, a lot of single women out there at the end of the day there still is hope you still can't find somebody single fathers out there you still can't find somebody that will love you you could be happy with you know what i mean despite what kevin may say you may come across the high value man and the odds may be in your favor that things may click and they may work out you know what i mean everything will work out for you so for everyone out there there is hope out there and once again like i always say if you want to get on a live with us talk about different things different topics going on out there in the world talk about uh advice uh dm us on our instagram that's in the description below make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel on the left hand side of your screen like and comment and share as well and this completes another video by your boy george and the Roddy bow and we'll catch y'all later Peace.